what's going on so this video will be sponsored by shop carl's if you have not already went and got a carl's club membership head on over there and get one if you've not used the welcher 10 discount welcher 10 gets you 10 percent off your first order ten dollars off your first order of 25 dollars or more and the carl's club membership basically it gets you early access to all kind of baits expedited shipping free shipping on a lot of stuff early access to new colors and then you get the biggest thing is when new baits hit the site new i mean members get access to them first for everybody else so pretty cool thing shop carl's does over there they got all the brands i've been using this year they got a lot of the rappel stuff kamikatsu stuff a lot of stuff over there that i fish with by 13 rods and reels and also another thing is it's hot now it's july the 4th and black rifle is having a july the 4th sale so it's hot right now I'm starting to drink the RTDs more than hot coffee this time of year, but they have 20% off everything site-wide. Just use the code JULY4, gets you, and that's the number four, JULY number four, and that gets you 20% off anything that you order on the site. Also, 20% off memberships right now. They got a brand new item called Liberty Roast. It's a new type of coffee out. It's really, really good. It's, you know, beans, ground, whatever you want, but 20% pretty much site-wide on Black Rifle right now with the code JULY4. So, without further ado, let's go fish a tournament. Should we do foreshadowing in the tournament or no? no. Just let it roll? No. Alright. Welcome to Intervention. Yeah. This is your Intervention girl. Is it? Kyle has a slight addiction now. To what? Bass. So what kind of Intervention are we doing? We're going to Thursday Nighter. That's the Intervention? Yeah. I like those. I like interventions. So going to a Thursday night tournament. Hunter's going. She said don't even take a rod. She's not even going to fish. She usually catches them all. She usually catches one of them. For real. She said don't even bring me a rod. I'm a spectator. Spectating today. I'm going to be Charles Marshall. I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> just to be completely transparent, I've been getting my butt kicked for the past like three or four tournaments. I ain't won one. I mean, I've just been doing bad. I ain't been catching them, been struggling. It's been rough. Been hard out here for a pimp. But, that's about to end tonight. About to catch them. I'm not going with you if you're bringing that rod. Why? It's just a little drop shot. I want a frog on the front deck. We gonna have a frog, trust me. Just trust me, okay? Just give me a little second. We gonna have a frog. Let's go see what he's looking at in there. On this wall, Kyle? No. Ah! Don't look. Can't show that. Y'all didn't see anything. Did they see anything? Hope not. Alright, I think I'm good. Yeah, I got everything. Why do you have the drop shot? What else do I need, Hunter? What else do I need? Oh, drop shot worms. That's what else I need. What are you doing? I'm getting drop shot worms. We're gonna be late. That works. Close enough. I was dipping into his St. Clair, St. Lawrence. Stash. I am doing that. For a small little local lake tournament. I got enough. And then we're going to get to St. Clair. This is going to be Kyle. Hunter. Hunter, can you run down can there you, to the Shop Carl store and get me some of these? Happens every time. Can you run and get me some of these over there? So you really don't want to ride? Literally none. Alright, that's fine. I don't want the, that pressure on me, Kyle. If I see a rod sitting there, I'm going to have to use it a little, and I don't really want that pressure. Okay. Did you bring snacks? No, I ain't got no snacks. Look. Look at right here. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. We got it. We got a frog. Tell them what we have been doing every day. Hunter has been hand feeding bluegill. 
on my small little local lake. Hand feeding bluegill. The same ones. Same ones. Same fish. Tell them how we find them and what we feed them. What? We park a boat <laughs> on this sandbar and they literally swim underneath the boat and then they'll hang out under the boat and then Hunter will go look and find the mussels. We'll crack them open and then she'll hold them and they'll come eat them out of her hand. Same bluegill. There's one called Spot. There's a big meat-headed one. And Baby Girl. Baby Girl's another one. We might, if y'all want to see that, leave me a comment. We're going to make a video of her hand-feeding bluegill in the water. Also, if you live around this small little local lake, you better not go find my bluegill. Don't be messing with her bluegills. I walked away for five minutes the other day. And Kyle literally got out a rod and caught one of the little spots that I was having. I, I caught a bass, though. Yeah, it was a spot. Yeah. I didn't mess with the bluegill. I did hook one, though. It was like four inches long. It was a little bitty old spot. A little bitty old spot. I had to pay 15 extra for you eating on fish. Right here is that Sunline AMZ. All right, stuff smooth. So smooth. Think I'll catch me on this today? I hope so. For my sanity. Tell them, all, tell them that we're going to tell all your secrets. We are not going to tell all my secrets because I don't got no secrets. Oh, he's I've, only got got like, I've only got like three good places on this entire lake. But they're really, really good. And we're about to show them. No. 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 We can't show them right now because the elites might come here in 2050. Yep. I'm gonna, I actually gonna shake some of the biggest ones off today. For that tournament. For for that tournament, yeah. Cause when the elites when the elites come in six years, you know them fish that I shake off today that are two and a half three pounders, they'll be five then. So that's what I need. So. Thinking ahead, Kyle. That's really smart. Yeah. You know. That's, that's why you gotta sh start shaking them off early, you know. Train them young. Not a drop shot. You happy about that? Coming in. 185. At, at 185 pounds. In the middleweight class. Stone cold. Kyle Welcher. Look at him getting his drop shot ready. He knows the technique. The fish are so scared right now in their corner. They are shaking in their boots right now. That's you know, me versus the fish? Yeah. Me versus five of them. Yeah. I'm 185 and they're nine pounds, three ounces. Yeah. And they still gonna whoop your tail. <laughs> are you gonna lose any tonight? No. He ain't gonna lose any because that sun line right there ain't it. Mm -hmm. Just gonna keep it on. He also could not be where he is today if it wasn't for his lovely wife. That's right. I was just getting around to that. It's almost go time. Close. You gonna catch? None. You ain't gonna try. Update. Ain't had a bite.
a nice one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Pretty spot for here. Beautiful fish. That's fun. Number two. Nice one. Got you a big one, okay, Dub? Cat Daddy. Where's he at? He's Hurry. We got dinner, everybody. Still got my weight. Fuck right. Still got my weight. Good deal. That's what I always say. My line's in, my line's in good shape. Just got some slime on it. World record bass right here. Three of them. Three is the smallest one of them, though. Welcome to Animal Planet. A croc. There's so many fish in that bag, A croc in its natural habitat. We hit a major lull. And I mean, I don't know what's going on. But we ain't caught one in a while. We got three. Got an hour and a half left though, so four hour tournament, hour and a half left. Play it now. You re you filming? Huh? Yeah. We did terrible. Not the update we were hoping for. No. We did absolutely terrible. It's the next day. It got kind of dark on us last night. You know, it's hard to film after it gets to a certain point. We fished for about 45 minutes after it's kind of too dark to film, but didn't catch much at all. Caught one really nice spot. Ended up weighing 246. Uh, somebody else had a three pounder, but uh, just didn't catch them. I kind of screwed myself though because I was trying to fish shallow. You know, normal summertime stuff where I feel like I could catch a few of them. Never got a bite. So I run out, fish a brush pile, catch a two and a half, catch a two, and then catch another keeper. And I had took my graph off the boat that had my waypoints in it. So, and I changed it out to a Lowrance and did not convert over my waypoints. So I literally had like five brush piles on the entire lake and four of them were not in the right spots. So pulled up to a couple, tried to just find them and fish them. That's actually what I did with the one where I caught the three, but didn't have my waypoints and kind of made a boneheaded decision there but i really plan on fishing shallow i thought i could catch them pretty easily shallow but just did not work out for me that day you know i'm just sometimes you gotta take your lumps and that's what happened there you know you know jay they beat my butt last night pretty bad but it's part of it if you're gonna show up you better catch them and i did not but anyways i think when i left it was like nine and a half pounds was leading somebody else had was still to weigh so it's probably in that nine ten pound range ended up winning and we had three for probably about a two and a half a two and a one or oh, maybe not even a one so we had a five and a half pounds with three so pretty bad day like we just struggled didn't catch them but i appreciate it that's kind of a i fish those a lot and usually i'm at least can catch five i don't know what happened but anyways Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see y'all in the next video. So, gonna film a lot more in the next couple of weeks. So, if y'all like that kind of tournament vlog kind of a deal, let me know because I fish a lot of tournaments, and I just feel like people ain't gonna want to see them unless I'm wearing a chesty. And I don't like wearing a chesty whenever it's 95 degrees outside. But appreciate you guys watching. We'll see y'all.